23 claimants were tasted and the most fought over body has finally been united with his family. Patrick Serunkuma, who passed away on Thursday last week, was claimed by about five family members, including someone who claimed to be his mother. It has now been established that she has no relation with the deceased. Interestingly, the lady whom they brought later, who was not even in the hospital, had DNA that matched the profile of Serunkuma. She says, I can't give them my son to bury. We each don't know the other. Dr. Moses Biaruhangari, Director of Medical Services in the Uganda Police Force, has told us that almost everything is getting wrapped up. Today they have managed to identify six bodies of the eight. Only two remain unidentified. We are going to keep them for as long as we can. This decision has been taken because there are still a number of people who claim to have lost their loved ones in the Namungona Infano. Yet samples of the claimants after tasting returned negative results. Some are disgruntled saying that maybe their loved ones could have been taken by fake claimants where after the president's offer of 5 million shillings. Dr. Biaruhanga, however, disputes this. We took off samples from all the 41 bodies and we were able to run the samples from all the claimants against all the 41 cases. That's why we managed to identify one of the bodies that was not claimed by anybody. Somebody was claiming for another body, but instead we matched it with another body which was unclaimed. More tests are now being run on other family members. This family is convinced that their family member passed away in the Infano. He says he was with a friend who went to get a jerrycan. How could he have gone for yet the fire burst at that instant? This family also questions the same. He was in that fire. Even his bike got burnt, she says. From reports at the mortuary, a claimant whose samples had been taken is said to have found the missing relative alive. The question on many lips is whether the sought after are still alive. Oh, could they have been burnt to ash? Is that where you can check the ashes? Very difficult. You cannot check because you will not get any DNA from the ashes. You can't. If there's any ash, you can't. And you, uh, as you know, the whole scene was mixed up with the grass, with the ash, wreckage. We may get a case and say maybe here there remains, maybe someone was burnt. But at least we have done uh, both um, uh, physical search and also using our uh, capabilities like dogs, like uh, experts searching the area. Another school of thought is that some people could have died a distance away from the scene of fire while trying to seek help. Police have asked residents of Namunguna to report in missing persons in the area as to unidentified bodies remain at the Mulago mortuary. Eight survivors are still receiving treatment at Mulago Hospital. We have not lost anyone since Friday. So we now have some glimpse of hope that uh, many of these will make it. Dr. Biaruhanga Pathologists and police officers handling the Namungona incident are now winding up with the identification exercise. I think you can uh, prove by yourself that everything has been done professionally. So far, the police are being credited for carrying out a thorough investigation with good reviews on social media sites. Florence Nalimba, NTV, Molago Mochari.